On O1 tonight, we have a thrilling, thrilling thing. It's you. You are the thrilling thing that's on O1 tonight. David Bowie has been everything from angst-ridden to soulful to poppy to glamorous and now he finds himself in a nice old-fashioned rock group called Tin Machine but even in his private life friends never know quite what they can expect one minute he might be the debonair charmer and the next minute pretty chilly as you'll see from my interview <laughs> Has it been more fun being on tour with a band than when previously you've been on your own? It's started, I'm not say that you tour for fun. Um, I think I got over that in probably about 1973, 1974. I think uh, fun doesn't come into touring at all for me. I think it's hideously boring. I think the playing makes it worthwhile. There's nothing on the telly, look. Let's switch, switch the channel on. Switch the channel. Is this pay TV? Because I just can't get it right, can't get it right. You said that in the 60s you felt that bands had a really immediate feel. Mm. Do you think that you've managed to recreate that? No. I don't think we're really trying to recreate anything we're trying to move things further down the line i think there's a parallel between yeah, the experiences there is a parallel, definitely i mean the bands in the 60s had the same kind of immediacy that one would imagine the uh more extravagantly improvisational jazz bands of the 50s had but i wouldn't say the 60s bands were trying to recreate what the jazz musicians were doing in the 50s Hello, you Group. Yes, quite definitely. Oh. I am the leader. Are you? You are the bossy man, yeah. Oh, your reviews, do you read them? Why do you think that the band has aroused such a different... Only the very good ones. That, only the very good ones that we've had this year. <laughs> what? Oh, stop it, Dave. I might as well talk to you about what you get up to at home. You're not going to talk about your album. That's, that's even less interesting. I <laughs> no, I bet it's not. I bet it's riveting. Do you ever feel like retiring? Does it ever cross your mind to just, you know... I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I would if it were a career of some kind, but as it actually feels like my lifeblood, I think I'd have an awfully hard time stopping to do it. Do you, when you think about Tim... I just die a little. Yes, I can imagine. Every day. Do you have lots of things in common? Oh, Benny Hill's on, excuse me. Better. Go on. I think that's going to be enough because I can't go on. I just can't go on badly. Wonder where the girl, girl, girl.